You never know what's going to happen. I don't, till I get through. <laughs> it kind of use your imagination it's a, a lot. I grew up on a place farm in Mississippi, a cotton place. And uh, we had a few animals, but not many. I had a little bit of college, but it was during the war, so I had to be from one college to another, you know, as we, my husband was in the Air Force. So I, my second year in college was at LSU in Baton Rouge. And that art program was the best I have ever seen. My mother-in-law, Jane, was living at Morningside at the time. And we thought, well, it, that might be a good activity for the residents at, at Morningside to do. And we knew that Jane loved to doodle, so um, she began doodling at that time and uh, just enjoyed it so much. But recently she came to live at our house and um, she doodles all day. <laughs> I call her the doodle queen. I just thought the need was that. I may be wrong, but I thought it might be a help. And if it might, then I sure did want to try. So, and I admit, I enjoy it. I see someone who's 95 doing their part to encourage other people with the gift that she's been given. And it makes me think, what if everybody just found that one thing? Because when you look at poverty in our area, um, there's lots of ways to have poverty. You know, you can have emotional poverty and uh, have poverty in relationships and, and in food and in shelter and those kinds of things. But what if everybody did their one thing? What if they contributed their one thing? If someone who's 95 can do their one thing to contribute, gosh, what if we all did that? it would really make a tremendous impact on our community. The Lord Jesus is our example for everything, and He would take care of people in every need. And we, uh, of course you do, anytime you do anything like that, you, you feel like uh, you're doing it for Him too.